to the setup and maintenance video for the e-instruments model E1500, E4500, and E6000 handheld industrial combustion gas and emissions analyzers. The analyzer is easy to operate with simple one button operation instead of complex menus. Store button. Store and recall any tests and data for downloading to your PC to keep digital records and emailing reports to customers. Data can be saved manually or automatically with the data logger. Print button. This allows you to send information to the printer easily and prints the test analysis report on the spot. You can print real-time data or save data on non-fading paper. Setup button. This allows you to change the configuration of the analyzer, including the time and date, fuel selection, oxygen reference level, measuring units, sensor alarms, language of the unit, and much more. Measure button. This gets you to the main combustion analysis and emissions monitoring screen. Test measurement button. This gets you to the auxiliary tests such as draft and pressure, ambient carbon monoxide, and stack gas velocity. Before starting up and operating the analyzer, let's first check a few things. Inspect the external water trap. If there is any presence at all of condensation, empty it before each use. Next, take a look at the filter cartridge in the upper chamber of the water trap. Unlike some other analyzers, E-Instruments filter gets dirty from the outside in. This allows you to easily see any dirt buildup without having to take the water trap assembly apart and look inside. If the filter has any cracks or heavy buildup of dust or particulates, replace it before performing any combustion and emissions tests to prevent any of the combustion byproducts and particulates from getting pulled into the instrument while maintaining a proper gas flow rate. Make sure that none of the probes and hoses are connected when the instrument is turned on. Also, it is recommended that the unit is turned on and in fresh ambient air, preferably outdoors, for the 60 second auto zero cycle that runs each time the analyzer is turned on. Being in fresh air and not having any of the hoses plugged in will ensure the unit is clear of combustion byproducts and auto zero properly for accurate testing. Once the auto zero cycle is completed, the unit will be to indicate the completion and the main measurement screen will be displayed. You can also zoom in and out on the screen by using the zoom function. Next, go to the setup menu to make sure the settings are correct. These settings include fuel selection, time and date, measurement units, and several more. Now you can plug in the probe hoses and water trap to begin the analysis. The water trap must always be in the vertical position during all operations of the analyzer. Now let's connect the probe. All the connections on the units are form fitted to prevent you from plugging in the probe hoses incorrectly. The water trap plugs into the middle port at the bottom of the analyzer labeled N. The other connection is for your draft and pressure measurement and that connects to the P positive connection on the bottom right of the analyzer. Plug in the thermocouple connector at the bottom of the instrument for your stack temperature measurement. Now you are ready to insert the probe into the stack and begin the combustion analysis and emissions monitoring. The analyzer runs off rechargeable battery power or AC power. If you plan to run off battery power, make sure to charge a unit the night before while the unit is turned off. The analyzer can run for 8 to 10 hours on a fully charged battery pack. It is recommended to run off AC power as often as possible. The paper roll can simply be replaced by pulling out the printer cover, replacing the new roll with the end of the paper coming out the bottom of the printer, and then clamping the cover back into place. If you have the analyzer running for more than 45 minutes at a time, we recommend turning off the analyzer and restarting it with a fresh auto zero cycle every 45 minutes or sooner. This will help prevent sensor drift and optimize the accuracy of the gas sensor measurements. When you are done operating the analyzer, let the pump run with all the water trap and hoses disconnected for at least 5 to 10 minutes to purge the analyzer with clean, dry air. Also empty the condensation from the water trap at the end of your test period. Our factory recommendation for recalibration of the analyzer is at least once a year. You can send the analyzer back to e-instruments for recalibration with a new calibration certificate or you can calibrate yourself with proper calibration, span gas bottles, and calibration setup. The calibration procedure and details are included in the manual. Please refer to the quick guide and complete operating manual 
found on the USB flash drive that comes with each analyzer. For more details about proper operations and maintenance of the analyzer. For more information about the instruments, please visit our website at www.e-inst.com.